All right, we're on the record in the matter of Horodesky versus Johnson, case 06D, 349743. And let's see, Mr. Carmen is here. Your bar number, Mr. Carmen. I'm Michael Carmen, bar number 7639 with Chris Horodesky, who is present by video, Your Honor. Okay, good morning and welcome. And Ms. Robinson. Good morning, Your Honor. Not currently attorney of record for Amber Johnson, but here because I owe you some orders, bar number 10731. Yes, good morning and welcome to you. And your client is not here, correct? I, um, she's not with me, so I don't know if she's online. Okay, I don't see her. But, um, yeah, we're just here for the three orders that are missing, Ms. Robinson. We do have them drafted. Um, Amber did have some edits. She wanted me to send them to her, and she has sent me those edits, and I have not yet made them and sent them back to her for review before sending them to Mr. Carmen. I will make sure that that gets done this week. Um, but, yeah, usually I don't do that. Usually I don't run them through the client that she specifically requested. So do you, um, do you need the dates of the orders, or do you have that? I have them, yeah, they're all drafted and have been sent to Amber for review, but they've come back to me with some edits. Okay, I need to get those in. So um, when can I expect them? I will get them over to Mike by Friday because Amber's pretty prompt in responding. Um, and then just whenever Mike thinks he can have time to review, I know we're going into holiday season. All right. So, uh, I'll just say that you to be out of town from the 18th to the 24th. Obviously, we're celebrating Christmas, but I'm back after after that. So if, if I can get them uh, next week, I, I hopefully I'll turn them around quick. I'm just, you know, my client has now appeared twice on this and has had to incur attorney's fees. It's, uh, yeah. I, I'm not, uh, I, I, I don't want to be mean to Mr. Robinson, but... I would ask to reserve the right to seek fees against um, her client in relation to these delays and the additional court appearances that really shouldn't have been necessary. Okay. Um, so Your Honor, I'll take the fee. Sorry, Mr. Robinson. Sorry. Hang on real quick, Your Honor. I'm here. I'm just wrapping up. I'm here and just wrapping up in Department Z. Okay. Uh, is your client with you, ma'am? Yes. Yes, she is. Thank you. She's in your office? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Sorry, Your Honor. Okay, so um, you're going to get them to Mike by Friday, and of course he's leaving town on Saturday. Um, if I can turn them around today, I will, Your Honor, just so he has time before he goes, if he has time. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm concerned I'm not going to be able to review until I get back, though, Your Honor, because of the timing. Okay, how much time are you going to need to review, Mr. Carmen? Uh, what's the following week? The the week of the twenty seventh through the twenty sixth. Yes, I'll have them reviewed that week. Okay, so uh, I hate to say it, but by New Year's Eve, uh, December thirty first. Um, you're you're either going to have a signed order or you're going to have competing orders submitted. Okay, and um, Ms. Robinson, I don't want to have to order. I don't want to be mean either. Just make, please make sure that I get them in by December 31st. Yes, Your Honor, thank I'm get, you. I'm getting pressure too, so, and these are three orders, so. All right, thank you. We will we'll get this over again. All right. Thank Your Honor, on a, on a housekeeping matter, um, out of the blue, I, we had talked about this last appearance. The court had, we had filed a motion to withdraw prior to the last hearing. Yes. Um, at that hearing, I indicated to the court I had no intention of leaving this case until this matter was uh, resolved at the last hearing before you. I told you I wasn't going anywhere until these orders were submitted. Um, and subsequent to that, we filed another motion. So we have this minute order granting a withdrawal that we're, we have no intention of pursuing. I'm wondering how the court wants me to deal with that. Oh, um, I can just include that in the order. So you're not planning to withdraw anymore? No, no, we've had to file a subsequent motion to suspend visitation. Okay. It's pending before the court. I, I, you know, we were going to do an OST, but we haven't really heard a response on it yet. Okay, well, let's do this. I'll just include in the minutes for today that you're um, vacating your, your motion to withdraw, and I'm 
rescinding my order granting your motion to withdraw. Can we do that, do you think? That that sounds perfect. And I'm sorry, it's just a weird factual I can't. <laughs> area. I don't know how to address it. Oh, that's so good. I think I, that's I've a... been there. I've been there. All right. So we'll just do that. And the court minutes can <laughs> suffice, I think, for today. All right. All right. Well, uh, actually... I think we'll need an order rescinding the minute order. Oh, Do you want okay. me to just prepare a, a one-liner? Yes, would you please, sir? And, Will do. And I don't think you need to run it by Ms. Robinson. It's going to be simple. You're not going to sneak anything sneaky in there, are you? It's simply going to say that, based upon the discussion at this hearing, that the prior minute order is rescinded pending further order of the court. Well, um, I don't remember if there was anything else included in that minute order. So if there was anything else included, we can't, don't vacate um, don't it wasn't. It was simply a, it was a minute order authorizing our withdrawal and discussing. It, it, it was only issues surrounding the withdrawal. Okay. So whatever the proper language is, uh, rescinding or overturning or overruling or vacating, whatever the right word is. Okay. I'll, I'll figure that out. Thank you, Mr. Carmen. Thank you, Ms. Robinson. Thank you, Mr. Horodesky. Thank a you, Your Honor. Have a good day, everybody. You too. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye.